This ream furnace troubleshooting has made me crazy for the past several hours. Hey, what happened? I have not seen you this frustrated in a very long time. I'm actually having a problem with my furnace, and I don't know what to do in order to fix it. The light is flashing like crazy, and being a newbie, I can't figure out what's wrong. Well then, I suggest that you first of all, turn it off, and then unplug it from the power supply. The gas control switch should also be turned off, and after that, be sure you smell for gas. Okay, what next? If you don't smell any gas, turn the gas switch to on, and make sure you close the control door. The thermostat should then be set to your desired temperature. And if this doesn't work? Then you should turn the thermostat to the highest possible setting. If you see that your furnace doesn't light on yet, you should turn off the power supply, and remove the control door as well. Do I need to turn the gas switch to off? Yes, and after you do that, you should remove the filter from the front panel and remove excess dirt with a small handheld vacuum. This sounds easy. Well, that is because it is easy. After this you need to remove the filter, and then clean it properly by using some dishwashing liquid. If the filter is disposable, change it out. My wife can do that. She always likes to wash stuff. I guess it's what makes her click, in a sort of strange way. Tell me about it. Anyway. Thanks a lot for the advice and help with Ream Furnace Troubleshooting. Hopefully your tips will help me with fixing this problem. I'm sure they will.